Good morning, folks. The activity is on the rise at Earth and Sun. We began at our star where the northeastern quadrant top left is getting very rambunctious. You might remember an uptick in activity was expected with multiple solar conjunctions, including Mercury and Venus. Solar flaring has gone from B flare range to coming close to hitting M class and popping some significant CMEs as well. There were two eruptions just on the limb up here and they made that CME. Part of the flaring uptick is a rapid sunspot explosion. The number of spots is on a major rise. and Let's analyze those one by one here. Beta gamma polarity up north, but umbras are small and not yet mixing. She's got some time though. Big dogs down south remain beta gamma delta with the positive negative interaction points straddling the region's center. Solid size umbras to the beta class group behind it. And then finally, we've got a monster grouping coming into view now. These are what popped the CMEs from last night. Seven days of solar wind show that we are still calming from the Corona hole stream from this past weekend. And you can see that calming in the sensitive meters, along with the low numbers on the KP index. Shield is solid. You remember we were also worried about a big time quake uptick as the solar geometry was complemented geocentrically by Mercury and Saturn. If you didn't catch last night's live update, we were tsunami tracking on the 7.5 that struck Papua New Guinea last night, ended up being less than one meter and happened at low tide. Very good news. Minor damage did occur, some wall cracks and downed power lines. It was an earth spot quake as it is no coincidence that yet again the lone tropical storm on the planet is just a few hundred miles from a powerful tremor. And powerful it was. Despite the lack of major damage locally, this was one of those global ringers that show up on readers across the planet here on LIS. Philippines, Bolivia, South Africa, all of them. We have had the powerful southern coronal hole opened up to Earth for the last few days and that may continue as the next node of the coronal hole swings into face Earth and a few more. Bottom left, dark patch coming in. It is also retaining its top level power, just like the rest of the opening down south there. Jumping to news updates. NASA's Earth Observatory showing a before and after of a terrible landslide that happened after the Nepal quake. Many deaths in that landslide alone, the death toll as of early this morning is approaching 8,000 from that event in Nepal. We also have an incident from the Los Alamos National Lab where multiple workers were taken to the hospital after getting burned. One is still there and in bad shape. The information is very sparse as of now, but we do know that no radiation issues have been reported to the officials. So back to that typhoon candidate, the Earth spot, with a trailer back there behind it, heading for the Philippines this weekend. In the United States, the Gulf moisture and heat driving up through the wind here has the energy racing towards Texas. The tornado alerts are returning quickly. Check your local forecast down here tonight. Europe is still getting pounded by that same cloud line. It's now just one low in control of the convergence, and that is dominating the weather stories in this area today and into tonight. In the southwest Pacific, we see high pressure clearing Australia, while low and convergences lie to the south and east, delivering the stormy weather to New Zealand. Flood warnings are on. We've got the current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.